everyone welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'll be showing you all how you can make your own ventilating needle all you need is a pen without uh, the ink inside the pipe you know so you can as well clean one yourself if the ink is almost gone in the pen in the pipe just get a um, nest dissolver and you know Try to fit, uh, clean it with the nails dissolver. It works perfectly. That's actually how I got this ink pen. So you need a glue and a pin also. So yeah, guys. And then you need a plier as well. So this is the plier I'll be using. I actually borrowed this one from a shop. And then with the pin shot also, you can as well borrow one yourself. And then you know because making this uh, ventilating needle you know, doesn't take up to like 30 minutes so you can just go to a shop a furniture shop anywhere and uh, that they, that uses this pin uh, plier and uh, pin shine just borrowed one so guys uh, first you want to make sure that your pin is all straightened up yeah so I have to make sure that the pin is straightened up so you can be able to so it can be able to fit in the pipe so guys why try to um, straighten the pin you have to be very careful because uh, yeah you don't want to get yourself injured so please be very careful while trying to straighten the pin and now I use um actually this is where the plier comes in it's um for me to use to straighten the pin yeah because you know pin is a bit like thin so it's difficult to use your bare hand just to straighten it up it's gonna be like a little bit um slippery while trying to straighten it with your bare hands so guys that's actually why i brought in the plier so i can be able to hold um so i can be able to use it to straighten up the pin and now i'm gonna use this pincher to remove the head of the pin because we don't actually need the head of the pin all you need is just a straight pin so to fit in the pipe and then yeah this is it my pin it's almost done so uh, I, I want to straighten it up more so I try to hold it with the pincher and then straighten the pin more with the plier so guys this is it uh, keep washing guys so you can be able to make one yourself also and this because this uh, ventilating needle it's so nice and then it works so well actually so guys this is my pin it's almost done yeah it's straightened so um, I want to make sure that it fits in the pipe so I try to uh, measure it because I don't want like a very long tip of uh, the needle coming out while using it to make the hair so that's why I try to measure it first to know the, the length I really need to um, make the length of the pin of the ventilating needle because I don't really want like a long 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 thing to be you know so guys this is it I try to measure it first before I add the glue to it so I can because when it's already all when it's already glued you can't be able to bring it out anymore because it will be so it will just like stick in there so guys now I'm adding the glue yeah so the glue it's so make sure it's so hold the pin inside the pipe because you don't want a ventilating needle that while using it is going to be going ups and down you know so i want to use the i use the glue to hold the pin inside and please while doing this you have to be very careful so you won't get the glue all spilled over everywhere you know it's a very it's a strong glue it's gonna when it's spilled uh all over the the, the pipe or in your hand is gonna get like really hard on your palm and you don't want that so guys I'm sorry to make I didn't make sure this before now uh, though it's optional you can add a little bit of sand just to hold the glue really uh, to make sure to uh, hold the pin inside the pipe so if you can also you, you can use the you can use a sand if you wish and then that's why I said it's optional but if still you can also use the glue without sand also but I did I add a little bit of sand just so it didn't really go inside that much but just a little bit like that so guys this is it the pin and the pipe is all ready so 
this is it and yeah it's so nice and ha ah, the the pin it's really like stick in because i allowed it to dry a little bit so the next thing is for you to just fit in inside the pipe and close it because now we need to make the tiny hook and uh, you know you have to fit in the pipe first before making the hook otherwise it can't um, you won't be able to fit in inside the pipe and the uh, in the pen anymore when the hook is already made so now guys here is where we make our tiny little hook you know this ventilating needle you need that tiny little hook so you that's the hook that you use in taking out the hair or the wig or the attachment from the from the wig cap so yeah this is it and the pinch i'm using is like a little bit hold so it doesn't really have that tiny mouth anymore like that tip of that uh pinch if you look at it very well it's not that sharp anymore so i try to make the hook like this and please while doing this you have to be very careful so you won't get yourself hot like you won't uh, injure yourself yeah get yourself injured so i try to push the pin a little bit for us to make that tiny little hook you know look at it if you look uh look very closely you can see that there is one tiny hook not this hook not the first one big hook there there's one tiny hook maybe you're gonna see that really clearly later so now we made i made that tiny hook already so it's for you to make the other big the bigger hook so now yeah making this big hook is not as hard as making the small hook and you have to make that tiny hook first before you can make this big hook because after making this big hook there's no way you can be able to make the tiny hook again so yeah the bigger hook is very this is very easy to make you just bend it and then that's just it but the most importantly is that tiny hook just look at it closely i don't know if you can see it there's one tiny little hook that is there that is the main hook we really need for the for picking out the hair yeah guys look at it look at it there's a tiny hook there yes yes i think yeah it's very clear now you can see it clearly so yeah that's the main hook we really need to you know for ventilating guys you can see the ventilating needle it's all ready and yeah it's it's good to go all you need it's a flyer uh a glue and then uh a pincher with uh, a little bit of sand and that's like i said that's optional so guys this is it and this is the hook and the look at it the hook is there you can see that tiny little hook so while making yours you want to make sure that you this tiny hook is there because if it's not there it won't like really work if you just make the first one and then make the second one it won't really catch this uh hair or wig or whatsoever you use gonna use it for so guys this is it uh this actually this um uh, one this video i'm making this um uh, ventilating and making yeah it just for you just to show you how it works it's actually not it's like a rough work though uh because i'm going to use this cap for something else but I, after making this uh ventilating needle i decided to show you guys how it works and by the ways i'm not really good at ventilating but uh, yeah i'm just trying to you know makes myself perfect but uh, i decided to show you guys how for you to know that yes it actually works so well so guys this is it and it's the the ventilating needle this one it's so nice it works so well it's uh, perfect so this is why that's why i decided to show you guys how it works yeah so you can see it yourself uh this is not actually um um like a real work like a perfect you know i just want to show you guys because i'll be taking out this uh this uh attach uh, this uh, extension from the from the cup anyway so guys this is it if you find this video really helpful and uh interesting please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel comment if you have any other question you want to ask you can also just make it down under the comment and then i'm going to reply your 
question so guys this is it it's so nice don't forget to like subscribe comment and turn on your notification bell for more of my videos thanks for watching